over and it will have that video there for you to go watch. That's the gluten-free version. We're doing this one with gluten. It's time to try regular flour, and You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yes. Okay. So now, the kitchen rules. The kitchen rules. Make sure you wash your hands, your work here is clean, you have adult supervision. Never turn out a soap without adult supervision because you can burn yourself and that's bad. But the most important rule of the kitchen is you stay! You stay? That's not correct, so let's try it again. The most important rule of the kitchen is set the first bam! So now let's get to it. which is over here. We're gonna need a baking pan. We're gonna need um, eggs, rum, oil, vanilla, cherries for decoration, and pineapple. The pineapple is optional, but we recommend it. And the pecans all optional because it's gonna make your cake taste amazing. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna need, um. Uh, Flour. flour, flour. We're gonna need brown sugar, salt, baking powder, baking soda, uh, soda and, and white sugar. sugar. Yep. And the brown sugar is for our caramel, right? Yeah. So now let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna put our five eggs inside of our kitchen egg. And then we're gonna let it um, mix for um, for two minutes. So now I'm gonna pour my rum inside of my pineapple juice, and we're just gonna let it sit. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna pour my rest of my wet ingredients slowly. So your vanilla, your oil, and the mixture of the pineapple, pineapple. juice and the rum. Pineapple juice with the rum. And I'm going to mix together my baking powder and baking soda inside of my flour. And then we're going to shift it in our KitchenAid. Okay, so we're going to put our salt and our sugar. And make sure you keep everything inside the bowl. <laughs> Especially the oil, Wyeline. Because then we don't know how much oil he spilled, so we don't know how the um, the cake's gonna come Moist, out. yeah. Moist, thick. But good job, Ian. Yes. Look at him. And then we're gonna shift our flour that we put our baking powder and baking soda in. So we're gonna turn off our KitchenAid. We're gonna unlock it. So now we're gonna shift our flour. You like that, Hayan? <laughs> so easy. Remember, walk fast, not hard. Oh, that's right. Okay, so now we're just gonna mix everything together to make our caramel. Okay, so I'm going to stop it and scrape my edges and then I'm going to put my pineapple and pecans. My pineapple and my pecans. So now let's continue mixing it.
didn't work. So my mom will put a video of how it looks if you use brown sugar. So let's do it with white sugar. So we're gonna pour it in our pan. And then what else you did with the brown sugar? It burned. So what happened to the cake? It got like... It tasted sour because the caramel got burned. <laughs> and... Like... It was just sour and it didn't work out. Yeah. But it was a great learning... Experience. Okay, so what we need is just to melt our sugar and make sure we don't burn it otherwise our cake would taste sour yes so make sure you don't burn it because <laughs> you don't want a sour cake and another thing eileen did she forgot to spray her pan <laughs> before pouring the sugar and what happened eileen it got stuck <laughs> <laughs> we're all learning it still tasted good the cake but got stuck so our caramel is almost ready. I had it at medium heat, but I put it to low now. Well, because it's almost ready. And now <clears throat> we're gonna put it on our pan. Careful, because it's hot. Safety first. So now we're just gonna grab it like this and we're gonna move around the caramel. And now we're gonna decorate it. More cherries. That looks pretty. It looks like a flower. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna pour it slowly so our decoration doesn't move. So now we're gonna put our cake in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. And then to check it, you just get your toothpick and poke it. And if it comes out clean, it's ready. And it's ready! ready. Look at it. It looks so beautiful. And do not experiment with the brown sugar. Just do the white sugar. Because with brown sugar, you can't see the design. And it gets burnt easily. So <laughs> It was still pretty good. but We have learned. You're learning, and I'm so proud of you guys. So... Can I have some cake? Pastel, pastel. Yes, Yo can. quiero pastel. <laughs> mm. oh. <laughs> wow, okay. So delicious. Let me check. Mm. Mm. It's nice and spongy. Mm. The caramel is so good. Mm. I think some? we put too much, but Wait. I need put one cup of um sugar. of sugar. Yeah. Because she likes to have, you know, this little moist. You see the moist? Look. Looks like guava. That's the caramel. So that's what Eileen likes. But if yeah. you don't want it like this, like a little bit more darker, just use half a cup. Yeah. But it's still too But good. it's delicious. <laughs> Mm. This one for me. Mmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then this one. Is yeah. <laughs> it is mine too. Voy a llorar. You guys are going to make me cry. Too. Okay, those are mine. Okay, you eat the cake. <laughs> so now, guys, enjoy. enjoy. So I hope you guys love this amazing cake recipe. <laughs> it's amazing, so moist and delicious. And... It's what? upside down. <laughs> yeah, it's upside down. <laughs> Ouch. I'm, I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Okay, hurry up because I want to eat some cake. Okay. So, I hope you guys love it. And we mm. love when you guys subscribe because it makes us feel special. Sure. And it makes us, like, we know that you guys love us. Thank, Thank you for you all your comments. Eileen and Ian love to read them. <gasps> Also, if you subscribe, it is free. You do not have to pay to subscribe. It's 
free. Yes, it's free for you to Bonjour. Say. It's, right, it's right on the corner down there. You just go, and that's it. Yeah, and then a little bell. <laughs> so now, bye! Make sure to subscribe with a big thumbs up and ring the bell. Ding! I put a smile on your face. Bye! Oh, I have a smile in my face! Yay.